Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. We are going to extract records from merged delimited data inside multiple columns. And this is part of an unpivot variation series, which is all about turning your data into a proper tabular format that's suitable for analysis. So there are several ways to achieve this, but I'm going to showcase a solution that was provided by Ankit because it uses a powerful M function that's not available through the ribbon. So let's go over to Power Query. And here is our opportunities table. Now, as you can see, there are multiple values concatenated into a single record here, right? So for the competitors and the amounts, those values are merge together and we need to somehow split those up. So the first thing that I was thinking was that we have to use text.split. So if we look at text.split, it returns a list of text values from splitting a text value based on a delimiter. So let's try that. Now I'm going to copy that delimiter that we have here. So just clicking inside a record value here and just copy that delimiter. I'm going to add a custom column. Don't have to change the name. And I'm just going to add a text.split. So it takes a text value and that is our competitor column here. So select that. And then we also have to give it a separator as text. So inside of those quote signs, I'm going to paste in that delimiter that I copied and add the closing parentheses. And when I press OK, I get a list object, right? So for the first list, that list only contains one value. And that is, of course, correct. And for the second record, I have a list that contains four values, and that is also correct. Excellent. Now, only splitting this list up right won't do. We need to add the corresponding value from the competitor amounts. And we can use list.zip to do that. So think of list.zip as an actual zipper. So it takes a list of lists and then returns them by uh, combining the items that are on the same position, right, into a single list. So there's an example here. And if we look at that, think of the first list, so one and two, as being on the green track here, and three and four being on the red track here. Now, when this is passed to list.zip, they come together at this point and the one from this list and the three from that list get joined together into a new list. And the same happens for two and four because they're on a separate position inside the list, right? So you see the output here, two lists. It generates two lists, uh, one and three and two and four. If the list have different lengths, so if there is a missing data, it can't create an exact pair, then a null value is added. Okay, so list.zip, think of it as an actual zipper. I'm going to step back to our opportunities uh, table here. And let's open that dialog box again. So we need to, of course, also add uh, that competitor amount, right? So let's do that. Instead of competitors, let's pass our uh, competitor amount column here. Excellent. And add that list.zip. Okay, so it says we did not make any errors or it didn't detect any errors. And when I click OK, I do get an error. So let's click off to the side in the white space. And we got an error because we returned two arguments, right? So uh, this syntax, 
that returned a list, but this syntax also returned a list. And list.tip, it takes a single list of lists and combines them, right? So we can take the list initializer to bring those lists together. And that's why we add those curly brackets. So add a curly bracket and a closing curly bracket here and press enter. So we now have a list object, right? And when I click off to the side, I now have a list object inside my list object. And for the second record, I have a list object containing four lists, right? Because we have four values here. Now I'm going to use those sideward arrows here to expand to new rows. So pay attention to the second record as we expand to new rows. And we see that, that, uh, that all the values from that record get expanded down, right? And when I now click off to the side in the white space, I can see the content of that nested list. So in the first record, we had one list containing one list, and that list contains these values. And when I click on our second record, we can now see that it contains the first combination of values. And the third record contains the combination of the second values. So we can use the sideward errors again, right, to extract the values from that list. Now I'm going to give it a custom separator. I like to use the OR sign because you don't tend to see that inside your data. So that's the double pipe and press OK. And it now concatenated those values right into this column. We no longer need the competitor and the competitor amount columns, so I'm going to select those and remove those columns. And this column we can split by that delimiter, right? So on the transform tab, I'm going to go select split column. We're going to split it by the delimiter and we're going to give that, that or sign again. Press OK. Excellent. So we should probably give this proper names. So let's call this our competitor again. And let's call this amount. Now I can't turn this into the proper data type, right? Because it contains a text as well. So I'm based in Europe. So for me, that comma should be a period for a thousand separator. So I'm going to use replace values to clean that up. So I'm going to enter a comma here and replace that with a period, press OK. Next thing I'm going to do is remove that dollar sign in front of it. Again, replace values and add that dollar sign. Replace it with nothing and press OK. And the final step that we have to do is get that double dash out here, right? That will return an error. So replace values, replace by nothing. That's good. Excellent. So we can now turn this into a whole number and we're done. Excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA channel if you don't want to miss out on any new content. Thank you so much for watching. All the best.